And we are in the Grand Avenue studios of Hallmark and the World, World Headquarters here in Crown Center, along with Ken Wingard. And what are we making today? Well, we're in the midst of fall. Yes. Um, I love to decorate and I love to take sort of unusual items that you might already have around the house and combine them to make sort of statement pieces. So today we're making our pumpkin tower in an olive basket. Really? Okay, well, if anything, I- You I, have no idea what an olive basket is, I do you? I don't. This, what is an olive basket? Is this an olive basket? This is an olive <laughs> basket. There are certain decorating items that are very iconic, okay. certain seasons, and right now, everyone's about the olive basket. There are new ones, there are old ones. They have these slits, and they were, people think they were originally used for collecting olives and washing them. They're actually used in Turkey for collecting sultan grapes, okay. which are then washed, dipped in lime, then become white. Okay. Raisins. Could you use a bushel basket instead of an olive basket? You can use a bushel basket, okay. yes. <laughs> Basically, I've got this, but this will work with any kind of galvanized bucket, galvanized okay. pail, milk bucket. Basically, go around the house, go around the backyard, go around the garage, find these sort of cool, interesting, rusted, unique items and haul them out. You're gonna need that, a grapevine wreath, and okay. then some sort of greenery, leaves, etc., and a little bit of rope. Okay. So far, I've got most of that. I need to look for the olive basket, though. If you're nice to me, you may be able to take this one home. All right. <laughs> so what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna need your help here. I'm okay. gonna take this, because we don't wanna put something in here because of the holes and we wanna elevate that pumpkin, we're gonna sort of create a foundation. Okay. We're gonna put this rope on and then I'm just gonna have you tie that into a knot. Okay. Just a good old uh, square knot over here? Yep, little square knot, all yeah. your... Cub Scout skills are being tested right now. How'd you know I didn't make it into Boy Scouts? I was only a Cub Scout. <laughs> I didn't want to assume. Okay. I didn't want to assume. All right, so now we've got our foundation. What we're going to do, take our very simple grapevine wreath, and it usually goes this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it around upside down uh -oh. so the frame is up. Flipping the script. Now, if you don't have a grapevine wreath or if you want to do this, the same thing for Christmas, so you can use an evergreen wreath, spring, a lavender wreath, and you can really update this like all year round. So it's a great piece. You can just update it and again use it, like you said, all year round. There you go. Right. So um, next, I'm going to be adding the flora. You ready for that? I, you know what? I'm so pumped up right now. <laughs> can you not tell? <laughs> That's coming up next. Now, you kind of prepped some stuff here over the break. Kind of yeah. fill us in what you did. So right over here, so we remember we tied those knots. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. All you have to do is unravel your rope and you automatically get a tassel. So do that on both ends and that's gonna give you sort of a nice accent here. Okay. And now we're going to festoon, oh. if you will. I don't think I've ever said festoon before, but uh, I'm now, excited. You can never say that again because now no, you have. Just once. Here, I'm gonna give you some of these. Okay. Um, so what's really great, we're just gonna tuck these in around the actual wreath. Just, and you can use live or you can use silks on this. So don't go out and spend a ton of money on a specific fall or holiday wreath. I find it's really not worth the money. You get a basic form like this mm -hmm. grapevine wreath and then just get your different elements, put them on, you can then change them. What you wanna do is start with the base and I'm starting here with these sort of maple leaves that are a bright color and then you wanna add something that's going to be a different texture but a similar color. So here we have these little berries that are still that same orange, brown, but it's gonna be round and we're just gonna tuck okay. those in as well and that's really gonna give us our ultimate foundation um, and you can use these same principles with any season, with any decor. And then what you always want to do is add something that's going to pop. Cotton. Right now, in love with using cotton, it's, I think mm -hmm. it adds a different texture and you have those little spots of white. Um, come the holidays, you would do this, you would add, you know, this is where you'd add your holly berries or oh, in yeah. the summer, your, you know, tiny little blooms. And again, just fit them in around the perimeter of the base. And your base, you're making this sort of nice sort of harvest nest for the pumpkin. Now to finish off the sides here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of our Hallmark ribbon. I'm using a burlap ribbon, which is great to have in large amounts. And then I'm going to get a little festive orange here and I'm going to double it up. And so what that is going to do is really give us a sort of luxurious look that if you went out to buy a double ribbon would be a lot more expensive. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that with our tassel and I'm just gonna tie it right on here. Oh, there you go. You do that on both sides or just this I'm side? gonna do that on both sides. Okay. You want to? Uh, I could try and you can come over and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like tying a shoe. 
How does it look? My bow. I think it's coming out okay. I like it. Look, you did good. Hey. Yay! All right. Who knew? Multi talented. Who knew? <laughs> I love the confidence. Well, no. <laughs> anybody can do this at That's home. Right. If I can do it, then anybody can do it. That's right. Exactly. All right. So do obviously we just put our pumpkin on here. Now last? we put our pumpkin right on, right okay. onto the top, and it's going to basically sit on that nice little foundation we did. Testing your knot tying ability. It there. And there we go. And voila. All right. And what I love to do is do a pair of these. They're great, like, in the entrance of the house yeah. as you're walking up. If you don't have a sort of front porch set up, either side of the fireplace, the stairs going upstairs. And really, any bucket, olive or bushel basket, yeah. some rope, any wreath, um, and some greenery.